Science Review, The Biosphere. For this number, let's do elimination. Letter A pertains to all of the organisms that live in a place together with their physical environment. Letter D is the scientific study of interactions among organisms and between organisms and their physical environment. So here we are going to eliminate letter A and D. We are now left with choices B and C. Letter B, on the other hand, pertains to a group of ecosystems that share similar climates and typical organisms. Choices A, B, and D are all components of biosphere. Biosphere consists of all life on Earth and all parts of the Earth in which life exists, including land, water, and the atmosphere. The answer for this number is letter C, the biosphere. For this number, let's do elimination. A while ago, we defined biosphere and ecosystem. Biosphere pertains to all life on Earth and all places on the Earth in which life exists, while ecosystem pertains to all the organisms that live in a place together with their physical environment. So we are left with B and A. Population is a group of individuals that belong to the same species and live in the same area, while community is an assemblage of different populations that live together in a defined area. So for number two, the answer is letter B, community. For this number, let's define first primary producers. Primary producers are the first producers of energy-rich compounds that are later used by other organisms. So we have now an idea of what primary producers are. To answer number 3, let's do elimination. Choices A, B, and D are all pertaining to consumers. That's why the answer for this number is letter C. For number 4, let's do again elimination. Letter A pertains to primary producers. Letter B may be pertaining to herbivore or omnivore, but not carnivores. Remember that our question pertains to all consumers. Letter C pertains to primary producers. That's why we are left with letter D. So the answer is letter D from eating organisms that are living or were once living.
Let's do again elimination for this part. For letter D, although it is an organism that eats other organisms to survive, it is basically not the answer because the question is very broad and does not pertaining only to molds. That's why we have to eliminate letter D. We also have to eliminate letter C because it is not an organism but time. We are now left with choices A and B. Primary producers are also called autotrophs. That's why they are the producers of energy-rich compounds that are later used by other organisms. That's why the answer for this number is heterotrophs. Heterotrophs are also called consumers that rely on other organisms for energy and nutrients. For this number, let's define all of the choices. For letter A, carnivores kill and eat other animals. For letter B, herbivores are organisms that obtain energy and nutrients by eating plant leaves. For letter C, scavengers are animals that consume the carcasses of other animals that have been killed by predators or have died of other causes. For letter D, decomposers are organisms that feed by chemically breaking down organic matter, thus causing them to decay. So the answer for number 6 is letter D, decomposers. For this number, the answer is food chain. Food chain is a series of steps in which organisms transfer energy by eating and being eaten. On the other hand, food web contains of many food chains or many animals that eat more than one kind of food. For number 8, let's define all the choices. For letter A, pyramids of energy show the relative amount of energy available at each trophic level of a food chain or food web. For letter B, pyramid of numbers shows the relative number of individual organisms at each trophic level in an ecosystem. Letter C, biomass illustrates the relative amount of living organic matter available at each trophic level in an ecosystem. And lastly, for letter D, the biogeochemical cycle is a cycle of matter involving biological, geological, chemical, and human factors. So for number 8, the answer is letter C, biomass pyramid because the question pertains to living tissue at each trophic level. For number 9, we have already defined the pyramids of energy, biomass, and numbers. So the answer for number 9 is pyramids of energy because it is pertaining to the amount of energy or matter contained within each trophic level.
we will do elimination for number 10. A while ago, we defined C and D. These are not cycles, but ecological pyramids. That's why we will eliminate C and D. We are now left with choices A and B. Water cycle is the continuous movement between the oceans, the atmosphere, and land, sometimes outside living organisms and sometimes inside them. So our answer will be letter A, biogeochemical cycle. Nutrients are recycled through biogeochemical cycles.